Good morning. We have a blizzard. It's December 1st. And we have a blizzard that started late yesterday afternoon. It's about time we got this. We have six inches of snow. And I've dug out my balcony for what I suspect is the last balcony shoot in quite a while. <sighs> I'm glad we're finally getting the weather. We need it, and without it, things are pretty, pretty intimidating when you actually think about it. Yeah. <sighs> Unfortunately, climate change denial is one of those sicknesses, along with the belief in a flat earth conspiracy and uh, the rejection of obvious reality that is prevalent among creationists. Yeah that uh, leads people to adopt, adopt whole policies that are counterproductive and detrimental. And I have to say that the Koch brothers have done a wonderful job brainwashing and indoctrinating small-minded conservative thinkers into believing that climate change is a conspiracy. It's not. It's a consequence. It's a consequence of an overly consumerist society that is more concerned with convenience than with the well-being of future generations. And that is what we are stuck with. If you are a Christian, and you support rampant consumerism, then you are a bad steward. And if Jesus really does exist, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. If you are Jewish, and you believe in the virtue of rampant consumerism, and Jehovah Yahweh is real, you're going to be in a lot of trouble because, again, bad stewardship. If you're a Muslim, and you are supporter of rampant consumerism and your God is real you're going to be in a lot of trouble because well all three religions take a very firm stance against the kind of aggressive consumerism and unlimited consumption that is at the heart of unrestricted capitalism they all take a dim view of the greed the wastefulness and the counterproductive and self-destructive nature of unrestrained, unrestricted, hell-bent for leather, go for broke capitalism. They all reject it. So if you adhere to any of these religions and you endorse these unhealthy ideologies, just know that your God is not going to be happy with you. finally got winter, and it's overdue by a month. And seasons, apparently, are not as unchanging as Scripture would lead us to believe. They can be influenced, and they have been heavily influenced by human greed. <laughs> human greed. That most abominable of vices condemned quite vehemently in the Bible, in the Torah, in the Quran, and yet so aggressively pursued and embraced and endorsed by the most aggressively conservative members of all three religions that those three books are from. This is a terrifying thought, not for me, but for you. Because your God is going to have some very choice words for you. And they won't be welcome to a new earth. It will be, what the fuck did you do to my garden? Yeah, something to think about.